The Fox 23 severe weather team is tracking below freezing temperatures and a local church has some heavy damage after a water pipe burst. Fox 23's Amy Hybels joins us live from South Lakewood Baptist Church near 21st and Sheridan where they're cleaning up about 20,000 square feet of damage. That's right, Shara, and say this is the, uh, this is what happens after a um, sprinkler head burst. Take a look at this. This is the cleanup effort that is now underway. They've got all this tubing lined up out in the uh, hallway. They've got these machines that are circulating air as they are trying to dry everything out. I'm told that they're going to have to strip everything down to the studs. As you can imagine, a real headache. They tell me that this job is expected to take about 10 days. See the damage done basically to the hard pan ceiling, which is drywall ceiling. With that much water coming down, it's gonna this ceiling will fall just from the water pressure itself. And then when you get to the actual source room, it is much, much worse. Bill Schaus with Burgraff Disaster Restoration has a big job ahead of him. He shows how much damage a burst sprinkler had caused in just about 10 minutes. This is the resulting damage of literally tens of thousands of gallons coming through within a 10 minute period at the most. Schaus says this type of break is not uncommon given the windy cold weather. It freezes faster, it's in the attic, no way to insulate it. Unfortunately, when it gets cold and then you get a wind-driven cold on top of that, uh, it will always, almost always freeze that fire suppression on the north side, which then continues on down the line and could break the line somewhere else. Pastor Scott Peavy House of South Lakewood Baptist Church was in his office on Wednesday. He heard a noise, walked out of his office, and saw a stream of water coming from his ceiling. I pushed up one of the ceiling tiles and saw there was a lot more water up there. and. By the time I got upstairs, it was a monsoon in the classroom above my uh, my office. It flowed down the walls, it flowed through the ceiling. Uh, it looked like a river coming down the stairwell. He was able to salvage two of his Bibles from his office. While he's left with a very large mess, he says he's grateful the loss is just material. Uh, God's work continues, even if a building is destroyed. We're still gonna meet Sunday. We're gonna move in a different part of our building. Uh, and we're going to continue God's work. What an incredible attitude in the midst of this. As you can see, this is a major cleanup effort. They've got these hoses coming in. They had to actually remove the, a portion of the door, or that it looks like glass is removed, and they've got this tubing coming in here. It's circulating air in here. I'm also told that the power went out at one time, so they've got generators going. I, I just can't even begin to imagine the frustration of what they're having to deal with. As far as tips, we're told that fire suppression systems are particularly vulnerable, and if, you have, if you're in a commercial space with one of those low drop ceilings. Schaus told us it's always a good idea to remove some of those ceiling tiles, put a fan down on the floor, point it towards the ceiling, and try to get warm air up there circulating during the extreme cold so that you're not left having to deal with something like this. In Tulsa, covering news that matters, I'm Amy Hybels, Fox 23 News.